different, which lets you kind of see the road a little bit easier, but you're not going to see the mile per hour or the blinkers. That's going to be over here. Okay. Um, also, you have a full map here, so it's very easy. Like if you had to like put some, an address in there, like I put in that and then I put that, that's how I got here. Um, so I'll cancel that. Um, what's your, what's a band you like right now? A band that I like, uh, or actually let's, like I think classic rock is fine. I just realized that the, the wheels turn. Let's um, turn the car on first. So put your foot on the brakes. Okay. Okay, so the car is on. Put the, on the right stock, put it, press it, um, press it down to go into drive. Oh, right, I'm sorry, sorry, the right yeah, stock. Sorry. Yeah. Down. There, now right. you're in drive. Okay. Now turn the, turn the wheel. Like that. Yeah, just to get it straight. Or the other. Or you can, yeah, yeah, so straight. Oh, that's now, weird. <laughs> um, you know, like, Google and Siri, um, yeah. what's a band you like right now? Just like any music band that you've been listening to like uh, in the last week or... What was it? Arctic Monkeys? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So on the right right hand, press the button with your thumb and say play Arctic Mon Monkeys. So press this. Play Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> Alright, that's it. <laughs> So the basically before we're actually dry, then I see. Oh yeah, so when you when you put your foot on the brakes, it puts it in. It puts, you're actually in hold right now, okay. which is kind of like park. Um, to get back in drive, you just push down on the right stock again. Okay. And then you'll or press a little bit harder. Okay, yeah, you're in drive. So, yep. So it's just gonna sp speed up and slow down a little bit faster than you're used to. Okay. But other than that, it drives just like a normal car. So do everything like you're used to doing in a normal car. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah, then you can feel it, like, grab. Yeah, it's, when you take your foot off the acceleration, it's doing what's called regenerative, regenerative braking. Yeah. And that's what extends your range in city driving. shows the lanes right here then it'll show cars in front of you there's 12 ultrasonic sensors and eight or nine uh, video cameras as well so it's constantly monitoring for objects you know and will show up on the on the screen <laughs> yeah, you can maybe like when you get a straightaway with yeah. no one, like maybe let this person go yeah. and then you can gun it once, like give them a little bit of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or actually, well, maybe on the on ramp yeah. on the freeway. That's actually the best. Yeah. Yeah. Did you 
did you come over just for this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling them about this a couple weeks ago. Gotcha. I go to school in San Jose State. Um, oh, okay. Um, I was at the Apple headquarters in Cupertino. Uh -huh. And um, they had one of these in the parking lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, there's so many Teslas out there, it's crazy. For sure. I was FaceTiming at the time, like, dude, that's a Model 3. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so get over one more lane just so I can show you. But So once there's basically two lanes, what's going to happen is there's going to be an icon over here that it's on. So on the right stock, if you press it down twice, now you're in autopilot mode. And it's going to kind of drive for you. Do kind of keep your hands close to the wheel. Yeah. But you, you, in every, every like, few minutes it'll ask, make sure your hands are there so it'll ask you to like hold the wheel but this is basically the autopilot and so you can change and go up or down right there but now it's just going 65 yes yeah, and if someone cut us off it would back off of them to give us distance um, yeah that's it so it'll change lanes for you and it's better we can get back on this here yeah that's fine so can you send it to like higher than 65 oh yeah you just press up here okay so now it's gonna speed up Get it out of autopilot, you just press it up on the right stock, and then you'll regain control of the car. So now you're in control. Okay. And it sees like stop lights. It, stop so signs. that's actually, it does not see stop lights or stop signs. Okay. So it's only, right now, it's only meant for freeway driving or like, you know, just any, maybe our country road where there's no lights, maybe, yeah. but it's not really meant for city driving yet. But there eventually there'll be an update that'll hopefully let it do that? Um, well, the, so the full self-driving capability is inside of each of the vehicles, but it hasn't been turned on yet for legal reasons. Um, and then eventually, you'll be, like, this car has the capability where I'd be able to, like, type in the address and, like, put full self-driving and it would, like, take <laughs> me there and I wouldn't be doing anything. But... It's not, we're not there yet. Okay. Yeah. It's easier to cup. There's a cup holder. Yeah, there's a cup holder. This is where you can have, like, you can put two cell phones. I have, like, micro USB, two USBs right under there. Um, so you can put your yeah. phone right there, there, or have your other phone. And this opens up for some extra space in there. It's like center console. But everything's really minimalistic. They tried to not have a lot of buttons and doohickeys and things. Yeah, I pretty, like that. Pretty much the only buttons in the car besides the screen are these two lights and the hazard lights. Uh, everything else is controlled by, or and then the steering wheel and stocks. But that's straight. Should be light. Yeah, I trust you. To get back. Where are you on the reservation list? Where am I? Yeah, were you like one of the first ones, or like a little bit later? A little bit later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure. Do you remember how, like, how many months after it came out that you put the thousand? The thousand. Maybe it's like a month after. So it's probably pretty far out. Oh, okay. Maybe by. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you get it this year, though. Maybe, maybe towards the end of the year. Or I'm sorry, not this year. Next. I mean, next year towards the end of the year. Because I already think you was twenty. Yeah, it depends on when my mom wants to buy it. You know. <laughs> So it has two motors, right? Um, or... This one has, well, one motor controls, the, it's a rear wheel drive. Okay. Um, then if it was all wheel drive, it would have two motors, but they haven't started making all wheel drive Model 3s yet. Okay. Although those are coming out pretty soon, I think like in 68 months, maybe something like that. Okay. So about that time period. Are you looking at one of these also? Um, I mean, I just think they're cool. I mean, maybe eventually. <laughs> I 
Oh, they're gonna. I mean, they just came out with a semi announcement. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that. But that's kind of going to be the proof of concept to get the, sort of the trucking crowd open to the idea of an electric vehicle. And then once the semi starts like really cranking out, I think the pickup's going to be coming too. Yeah, once Daniel and I strike it rich, we're gonna get roadsters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although all, I'm pretty sure all the pickups on the internet are all like not real. Like there hasn't been a con a release concept of that. You know what I mean? So it's all just rumors. So. Your dad didn't want to see it. I know, well, he had to go to the store. Oh, did he? he really wanted to. Gotcha. So it detects the lane lines. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why, also, why if you're in like country roads or windy roads, it won't see the lines. Yeah. So it just, you know, like, it has to be a pretty uh, you know, developed road. in like 10 years out of beta <laughs> like maybe you know yeah. what I mean like but and so this has LTE and you pay for that mm -hmm. monthly it comes it with the car with, okay uh, it might last it's a good question I think it might last for a certain number of years yeah like I don't think it's forever you know what I mean I think you get it I want to say like I don't even want to put a number of years on it because <laughs> when when I got mine, they hadn't finalized the process for the non-employees. So okay. a lot of the information they told me, they're like, the we still are figuring things out. So okay. I was like, okay. So, but yeah, I wanted to say I heard something like it was it's not because the the battery warranty is an eight-year battery warranty. Then the car has like a fifty thousand four-year normal warranty, and then yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. Is this the first um, model for you guys have seen in person? Well, I know you saw one, but is it the first one? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know which color you want or anything like that? The blue is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't what, What's the name of the blue? Is it, I just know it's a blue. Oh, the, blue, the color blue? Yeah. yeah. I, think, yeah I think it's just blue. Maybe there's a special name for it. It might be blue metallic. I really like how this is just like glass. There's not really a print. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really... There's a lot of things that they just kind of chose very simple design choices for like that elegant factor. Elegance factor. 
and then the, the roof. I, <laughs> I just didn't, I didn't feel Yeah, so this spot. is the premium interior. Yeah. Like, I think in the regular base 35,000, they it's a metal top. Yeah. So that's one of the differences. And then eventually, at some point, I think there, there might be a sunroof because Model S and Model X have those, but yeah. I don't know when, or and that might be a no too, but just. Right now, for people that want lots of bells, like options, Model S still has way more options. This whole thing is a vent, and you. So it's right now I have it on auto, but you can take it off auto and like control how fast the vents are and stuff. But I just like to. Like, I'll just choose the temperature, you know, and then put it on auto. Forget about it. But you can control like where it's flowing. It's pretty cool. Jacob, you could have used a Tesla with autopilot down Central Valley. Yeah, I would have. Although I mean, I was towing a trailer. Model X can do yeah, the Model X can do those trailer. That's cool. Are there any trailer or just uh, specific ones? I think there's a weight limit on it, mm -hmm. but I've seen them. I mean, I've seen uh, like full on, like, what are those called? Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Do you guys work together or go together or anything like that? Or? Yeah, we. School together and then different high schools, and now we're at Crossman College. Oh, cool. I really like that break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cool thing about it is, I'm, I'm getting better at just one pedal driving. Yeah. And I, I'm realizing so like that you I'm. stop prematurely, right? Yeah. And it's going to be great for like maintenance. It means I'm going to have to like check, change my brakes like half as often as I would otherwise. Right, yeah. And since it's, the motor's made to do that, it doesn't really wear the motor out as much. Yeah, it's, it's, it's designed, like literally the battery loves, likes that when it happens. And the steering wheel's nice and thick too. Yeah, so. This is kind of like a little nook of San Diego. It's right in the middle of San Diego, but it's like kind of, it feels like out, out of the way a little bit. Yeah, it's like right between Santee and El Cajon. There's only one way in and out of here, too. Yeah. Is that part of what it is? Yeah. I think it's because you're not, like, the 125 is not, like, an interstate, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's a it's an important freeway, but it's not, like, the big, big ones, you know? Especially this section of it. Yeah. It's kind of like a, I feel like there'd be a lot of, like, I don't know, families and stuff in this area. Yeah. And if there was a fire, like, Jacob said, one way and one way out. <laughs> so, that would not be good. <laughs> yeah, that's the TL. Gotcha. About the same size. Uh, similar. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so put it in park, just a silver button, just use your pressure thumb. Like that. And now you're in park. That's right. And then that's it cool. turns off. And then yeah, if we just walk away, the car will lock itself like an everything. So there's use your thumb to press the button yeah. and I'll open the door. Oh. Wanna take a picture of you two guys? Yeah, that'd be great. Sure. I see. I see. 
you just slam it. I like it. <laughs> You can like control, like, so I can like open, like, you know, I can like flash the lights, so I can like open the front trunk, stuff like that. So that's, this is called the frunk. Yeah. Um, space here. This is what, it usually, it comes with this. I, since I'm an employee, they gave me one of these, yeah. but you can get these online. And then this is like the charging that comes with it. Every, every Tesla comes with charging equipment. So that can be adapted to like any outlet? Or? Um, so it comes with the 110. Yeah. This is the any outlet. But we recommend installing the 240. Okay. this guy. Different from the dryer sort of thing, right? Yeah, the, or it's, um, it's similar to a dryer, but it's yeah. there's one that's a little bit better. Like, when you get to that point, like, let, let, you know, talk to me, yeah. basically. It's called a NEMA 1450. That's the one that works. Okay. I like the the button, so if someone's in here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. If there was a little kid in there, they'd be able to. <laughs> yeah, get out of there. And then let me show you that. It's the cameras in the front. Yeah, look at that. And which side you're charging for, on? The charging is right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's the charging port. And it still opens up when you go up to it. Yep. So if I had a. Uh, if I was at a supercharger, let's say, um, or if we had one of our chargers that you can buy online, yeah. When you have it like, right, like, say I was right here and I pressed the button, mm -hmm. it would like automatically open up. It would like sense it. Again, this is, so this was like a weather. This one was an an add-on. It's like a, maybe a hundred bucks online, so it usually comes like that, you know. But it's okay. It's actually yeah, that's pretty deep. But then you have this too. This extra space. Oh well, yeah. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot more room than you would think. <laughs> how tall are you? Me, yeah, I'm six foot. Okay. How how much how roomy was that back? It was pretty roomy. Yeah. I, I rode in a Model S uh, a couple years ago. Uh -huh. I, I was surprised. It was a little more cramped. Than